Oh, yeah. Focus! <laughs> It's cold, and my name is George Motes, and this is Burger Scholar Session Outdoors, the grilling episode. For the past four seasons, we've preached the virtues of cooking on a flat top, but nothing can replace the time-honored tradition of starting a fire and putting it out with the fire department. Hang on. Go get them, boys! Nothing can replace the time-honored tradition of cooking outside on a flame grill, but it's not easy. We're gonna make a regional favorite of mine, the Sheboygan Brat Burger. That's right. One of the greatest examples of the Brat Burger in the Midwest is from a place called the Charcoal Inn South in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Sheboygan is the epicenter of bratwurst culture, so much so that they have a multi-day festival called Brat Days, which actually was canceled for 12 years due to excessive rowdiness. Yeah, okay. Excessive rowdiness, bratwurst, and beers, Sign me up! The burger is very simple. All it is is a burger patty cooked on a flame grill. Hang on, fucking more geese. Jesus. You hear that? I'm not feeding you geese, fuck off. It's a hamburger with a grilled bratwurst on top of it. It goes onto a locally made hard roll and is served with nothing more than pickles, raw onion rings, mustard, and a big wad of soft Wisconsin butter. Mmm, that's living. Are you ready for some grilling secrets? Use a charcoal grill. If you're grilling with propane, that's like driving an automatic car. You're like, doo, 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 not really paying attention. You open the grill, you put the thing in there, you cook it, you go to dinner. So what? Okay, if you're grilling with charcoal, it's more like driving a stick shift. You're actually in there, you're right in the engine and you're moving stuff around and making it happen. You're adjusting things and you want it to be hotter, so you do this, you want it to be cooler, you do that. That's grilling. There's a charcoal method lighting that people who are tried and true outdoor grillers know, and that's the chimney method, okay? This thing costs about 20 bucks or less at the hardware store, and it really is nothing more than a metal tube with a grate on the bottom. All you do is shove newspaper in the bottom of this thing <laughs> and put your charcoal on top and light it. No lighter fluid necessary. Charcoal chimney. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've got a bratwurst for you. Not an ordinary bratwurst, but two. <laughs> okay, the coals, ow, shit, the coals are ready. Whoa. Okay, before we get started, you need to understand my five commandments of grilling. Number one, put the beer down. For the 15 minutes it takes to make burger magic, you need to focus, focus. Number two, create zones on your grill by pouring the charcoal onto one side only. That way you create a cool zone. You can slide your cooked burgers over to the cool zone so they don't burn. All right, fucker. Yeah, fuck. Oh, you guys know what I do. I use a food ring and form a patty inside the ring on a piece of parchment paper. You have to have integrity in that burger to grill it properly. Number three, don't get fancy with your patties. Keep it simple. People add ice cubes sometimes. Ice cubes, what the fuck? No, don't put ice cubes in your burger. Why do you want water in your burger? Do not put ice cubes in your burger. Some people put butter in a burger, but that's only a cheat to hide the fact they're using lean beef. Use fatty beef. So to make it a brat burger, you need bratwurst, right? And not just any bratwurst. We actually had shipped in real Wisconsin bratwurst from Milwaukee. Shout out to my buddy Billy, but they do it charcoal in. So they actually take the bratwurst and they split it down the middle. Casing comes off, goes onto the fire. Patty goes on next to that. Might as well put some salt on there. And, and you're looking for a brat burger. It's gonna be served on a fairly hard Kaiser roll. Number four, hot and fast. You wanna have a nice hot grill so you can sear that patty and lock in that fat. People ask me this question all the time. It's one of the oldest questions about grilling. When do you flip a burger? A friend of mine at Certified Angus Beef once told me, you flip it when it's ready to flip. I asked him what that means. He said, the burger will speak to you. I said, okay, now this is getting even weirder. What do I do next? He said, you should look at the burger. And when the burger starts to develop liquid on the top of the patty, that's how you know it's ready to flip. And the patty, oh shit, <laughs> Jesus the fucker. That was hot, very hot. 
Now, if it's too hot, this looks pretty good. If it's too hot, you close the grill. It will slow it down. Actually, closing the grill does help. What's happening in here now is you have airborne carbonic compounds. The fat is rendering from the burger, dropping onto the fire, and then igniting, exploding. Those little mini explosions are happening there right now. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ow, shit. <laughs> and when you reach your hand into a grill, if it's hot, it will burn your hand. Like that, see that? Number five, and one of the most important rules of all, don't ever press down on that patty once you flipped it. If you do that, you will literally kill your burger. You will press all those glorious juices and rendered fat out into the fire. The last place it should be, it should be in your belly. If you have a hot flame and good beef, it's gonna cook pretty fast. It has a little bit of give to it, it's a little bit of give. It's probably medium rare. If it doesn't have a whole lot of give at all, you probably overcooked it. This looks kind of perfect actually right there. And don't forget, when you take it off the grill, it's gonna continue to cook like a steak. So I'm gonna pull it off to the cool side over here. Take a look at my bratwurst. That bratwurst looks money. <laughs> That's perfect. It's so good. So let's prep the bun. Let's get the burger off of here. That's ready. Onto the bun. On top of that, we're gonna put the bratwurst. Put the bratwurst on the bun. Ciao! Top of that, pickles, onions. We got some mustard on the top of the bun. One last most important part is soft Wisconsin butter. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Put it on the bun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Bratwurst burger with the works. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. And the butter. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only Wisconsin. Really. Thank you, Wisconsin. Thank you for this glorious burger. Thank you. I'll see you next time when hopefully I won't need an Icelandic itchy wool sweater to make you a burger. Ooh. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching Burger Scholar Sessions. You should like and subscribe to this channel, but also get more episodes up here. Somewhere in here. Right there? Yeah. Watch more episodes right here.